school food. For school. My own Vidya. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Vidya Recorder Man. <laughs> I am the Vidya Why are you holding the phone man. so close to my face? It looks stupid. Alright, I know I'm gonna aggravate a guy or two <clears throat> by talking about this buncher. But okay, right up on this hill, that's pasture right there. There's a fence running right along there on the other side of that, all the way up there, all the way down there. Now look at this son of a buck. There's black oak stumps, so that's a high stump because it's a doty son of a buck. And there's another one, and there was a double, and then over there's a big one, and then there's another double up there. And then I broke this one over, but it was a doty piece of crap. It, I just bounced a tree off of it and it broke over and fell over. But every one of them, 90%, 80% of them trees I'm talking about was all leaning like this. And I'm sitting on one stump, but it's all leaning like this out in that pasture. We got them all down, didn't hit the fence once, and look what's all around it. There's a uh, white oak sapling, red oak sapling, um... There's a hickory I'd left. There's a white oak right there, nice looking sapling. And then uh, a black oak, look up in the canopy. The canopies look great up in there. Look at all that. There's a white oak sapling right uh, there. Don't focus on my finger camera. White oak sapling here. White oak and red oak all around the son of a buck. We got in there, got it all out, and every, most of it was leaning across the fence. Nothing on the fence, all of it down here, and throw it across this drainage down here. See them all stacked up there? I skinned this black oak a little bit. But look up the canopy, still perfect tree up there other than the skins. But Stevie will come down from out of their side over there, come down and grab these and snatch them out, and every one of these will cross that drainage without a machine coming over here other than me crossing and I crossed on wood. I mean, you can't beat that crap with a stick. And then there's beach I cut out of here, and on my way across, back across the ditch, I'm gonna cut some little beach saplings. So some of the TSI work's done with more. It didn't take a minute. It didn't take no time. I mean, no time, and look what else left. I mean, like playing with a freaking cheat code. I mean, the son of a buck is just, and it's dry as a bone. I'm so proud of this thing. Man, I went from hating this thing to getting so proud of it in the middle of no time. Bonjour Day Parade. TV, Robin, and Blackie. It's Friday evening. We're finally getting the log yard beefed up again. Good enough for summer where the sap up season is. And then look at this cuteness. What are you doing, Mommy? That's my supper. So. It's fresh baked 10 hours ago. <laughs> You're welcome. That's so you can go get your hair done. I'm not getting my hair done. You saying I need my hair done? Uh -huh. I'm saying my hair. <laughs> huh? So what are you going to town to do? Get some more back to school stuff. Back food. After school food. After school. My own Vidya. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Vidya Recorder Man. <laughs> I am the Vidya Why are you holding the phone man. so close to my face? It looks stupid. Uh, you wanting to go? Do what? You wanna go to the Waymart with me? No. Okay. I'm going home and I'm gonna have a drink. It's Friday evening. I'm gonna kick these logs off my bird. Oh, they're gone. They're gone. Yeah. I got work to do, mommy. I ain't got time for that crap. Alright, well that that'll hold you over for a couple hours, right? You gonna bring home we'll supper yet? Yeah. You gonna bring home some Mackey Hall? Oh, yeah? What does my truck sound like? <laughs> yeah, that's what it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> How you getting home? I got the red truck. Okay. Well, why don't you switch me? <laughs> mm hmm. Take Paul and Chuck her. No, Paul ain't out there. It was? Out by the fuel dock. Look out past the fuel dock. All right. 
she didn't take Bert to work this morning because it was out of fuel. And that's how mommy rolls. So instead of fueling the car up, she parked it and took my old truck. And my old truck's starting to get in the need for some love because it's got, it needs, I need to put exhaust on it. I need to put O2 sensors on it. And it needs a new master cylinder. It needs, the left hand hub needs a new uh, speed sensor for the wheel sensor. Uh, it needs new brakes and rotors. <laughs> it just needs all kinds of attention. I'm thinking about putting two chamber flow masters on it and just be done with the daggone run and exhaust out the back and everything. Or just see. Just doing stainless from the cat back, you know, and then put, you know, so I ain't mess with it a bunch. But. So anyway, she don't want to drive into town. That's why I got on that little ramp. She want to drive into town. She said, well, switch me trucks. I'm like, well, why didn't you fuel up your car this morning? <laughs> now, daggone it, I know Paul's out there. I'm gonna say Paul's out there. She said Dad took it. I don't think Dad took it. Maybe he did. No, it's sitting out there. She looks awful cute, Pop Paul. I love you. Yeah. I love you. See you tonight. All right, let's go. Get this black oak goat off my bird. We got hard maple. Got some pretty big hearts in it. But some of us got smaller hearts. Maple's doing decent right now. I think it's like a buck fifteen for uppers. And here's Ash. That's her white ash down here. We've been sawing ash and stuff, so we ain't got much ahead. We got some ash in this job we're working now. Here's some old hard maple. And here's like three ricks of poplar, four ricks of poplar. It ain't bad poplar, but it ain't good. It ain't the best poplar in the world. It come from a decent canopy height, and it was fed pretty good. It was solid. There wasn't a lot of uh, mineral in it or nothing. It just wasn't big poplar. So it's good solid poplar, I should say. Color's good in it. And here's two rows of red oak. Which red oak's down right now? It's under. It's like 90 cents or something like that for uppers. So poplars. Hey, this is one of weird times in history where poplars worth more money than red oak. There's two ricks of white oak, which white oak sky high. And we got plenty of white oak coming off this job. Some of it's veneering. And over here we got. We ain't got a great big inventory, but you ain't supposed to have one that saps up. There's some white pine and some uh, short leaf, I think. Or lob lolly or whatever y'all call that crap. This pine, this pecker pole pine. Uh, it's all crating. And there's old white oak, that small rick from that old uh, that deal dad did with that logger. And here's some uh, gum and beets and stuff. It's pile stock ricks. And this is uh, soft maple. Yeah, two ricks of soft maple. And there's uh, three ricks of hickory, a short, small hickory. And then on the other side should be cottonwood uh, to go to Werner's. Because that cottonwood's so fuzzy, we can't run through a hog. And Werner's got chipper, and they can run it. So we sell them off the cottonwood, and they cut their crating out of it. Cottonwood in the back, that's locust. Yeah. I don't know why we got locust, but we got locust. 